Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to talk about the question egg dropping problem. So the question is, given certain number of floors and certain number of eggs, what is the minimum number of attempts it takes to find out from which floor the egg will break? For example, if you have 10 floors and one egg, it'll take me in the worst case 10 attempts to find out from which floor the egg will break because I'll start with first floor. If the egg doesn't break, then I go to second floor. If the egg doesn't break, I keep going up all the way till 10th. But if I had like two eggs and 10 floors, I can be a little bit more aggressive and start from say fourth floor. And if the egg doesn't break, then I have six floors and two eggs to work with. And if the egg breaks, then I have three floors and one egg to work with. So the question is, given certain number of floors and some number of eggs, what is the minimum number of attempts it takes to find out in worst case from which floor the egg will break? So here, uh, we're going to use dynamic programming to solve the question. Here, I'm assuming six floors and two eggs, and I'm going to solve this matrix, and at the bottom right corner, I'm going to have my final answer. So let's start with the top left corner. If I have one floor and one egg, what is the minimum number of attempts that it takes to find out from which floor the egg breaks? So one. If I have two floors and one egg, it'll be two because I'll try to break from the first floor. If the egg breaks, then I know it's one, but if it doesn't break, then I have to go to the second floor. If I have three floors and one egg, the minimum number of attempts will be three. <coughs> so similarly for six floors and one egg, I, it will take me in worst case six attempts to find out that from which floor the egg breaks. Let's work with, let's see how we can improve with two eggs. So here I have one floor and two eggs. Since the number of eggs is more than floor, it doesn't help. So you just get the value from the top. Let's see two floor and two eggs. If I have two floors, one and two, and I have two eggs, like what I can say is I'll try to break my, I'll try to drop my first egg from the first floor. In this case, the minimum number of attempts would be one of max of, if the egg, if the egg breaks here, then I already have the answer, so zero. If the egg doesn't break, then I have one floor and still one egg to work with, which I've already calculated is one, one, so one. If I drop from the second floor, that's one attempt. If the egg breaks, then I have one floor and one egg to work with, so one. If the egg doesn't break, then I already got the answer. So this is one plus one, two, and this is one plus one, two. So in the worst case, it'll still take me two attempts to find out from which floor the egg will break. Let's work with uh, three floors and two eggs. So one, two, three. If I drop my first egg from the first floor, and if it breaks, then I have already found the answer. If it doesn't break, then I have two floors and one egg to work with. So two floors and one egg, so that's two. If I drop my egg from second floor, so that's one attempt. If it breaks, then I have one floor and one egg to work with. Going back here, if, if, I, drop my, if I drop my egg from first floor, if it breaks, I have, it's great. If it doesn't break, then I have two floors and two eggs to work with, so that's two. Okay, so zero and two. Here, one and max. So if it breaks, then I have one floor and one egg to work with, so that's one. If it doesn't break, then I have one floor and two eggs to work with, so that's again one. Here. If it breaks, I have two floors and one egg to work with, so that's two. If it doesn't break, then I found the answer. So here, this is one plus two, so that's three. This is two, and this is three. So the minimum of these three is two. So what I'm saying is I have three floors and two eggs, the minimum number of attempts it'll take to find out the answer is two. So let's say four. If I drop from first floor, if the egg breaks, then I found the answer. If the egg doesn't break, then I have three floors and two eggs to work with. So three of two is two. 
If I drop from second floor, that's one attempt. If the egg breaks, then I have one floor and one egg to work with, so that's one. If the egg doesn't break, then I have two floors and two eggs to work with, so that's two and two, that's two. Let's drop from the third floor. If I drop my first egg from third floor, then I have two eggs and one floor to work with, or two floors and one egg to work with, so that's two. Or if it doesn't break, then I have two eggs and one floor to work with, so that's one. And lastly, from the top floor. If I drop my first egg from the top floor, that's one attempt. If it doesn't, if it breaks, then I have three floors and one egg to work with, so that's three. If it, if it doesn't break, then I found the answer. So here it will be three. It will be three. It will be three, and it will be four. So what I'm saying is that if I have, so the minimum is three. So what I'm saying is that if I have uh, four, if I have uh, four floors and two eggs, the minimum number of it, the minimum number of attempts will be three in the worst case. Let's try to solve for five. One, two, three, four, five. If I drop from first floor, if it breaks, I have nothing to do. If it doesn't break, then I have four floors and two eggs to work with, so that's three. Let's try to drop from the second floor. If it breaks, then I have one floor and one egg to work with. If it doesn't break, then I have three floors and two eggs to work with, so that's two. Let's try to drop from the first third floor. If it breaks, then I have two floors and one egg to work with, so that's two. If it doesn't break, then I have two floors and two eggs to work with, so that's two again. Let's try to drop from the fourth floor. If it breaks, then I have three floors and one egg to work with. If it doesn't break, then I have one floor and two eggs to work with. And last, fifth, if it breaks, then I have one f four floors and one egg to work with, otherwise zero. So the worst case is four, three, three, four, and five. So here, the minimum of this is three. So again, if I have five floors and two eggs, in three attempts, worst case, I can find out from which floor the egg will break. Let's finish up for the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I drop from here, I have, if it breaks, it's zero attempts, otherwise it'll be like five floors and two, uh, two eggs or three. Let's drop from the second floor. If it breaks, then I have one floor and one egg to work with. If it doesn't break, then I have four floors and two eggs to work with, so that's three. Let's drop from the third floor. If it breaks, then I have two floors and one egg to work with, so that's two. If it doesn't break, then I have three floors and two eggs to work with, so that's two. Let's drop from the fourth floor. The first egg. If it breaks, then I have three floors and one egg to work with, so that value is three. If it doesn't break, then I have two floors and two eggs to work with, so that's two. What is five? If, it, if the egg breaks from here, then I have four floors and one egg to work with. Otherwise, I have one floor and two eggs to work with. And from six, if it breaks, then I have five floors and one egg to work with. Otherwise, nothing. So here, this is four. This is four. This is three. This is four, this is five, and this is six. So the minimum here is three. So if I have six floors and two eggs to work with, I can do it in three attempts, worst case, to find out from which floor the egg will break. Let's quickly look at the formula for this one. If i is greater than j, it means that the number of eggs is more than floor then I just get the value from the top.
else p of i j is equal to 1 plus minimum of max of if the egg breaks then I have one less egg to work with so i minus 1 and k minus 1 floors or if the egg doesn't break then I have same number of eggs to work with and j minus k floors to go where k is between 1 to j so here I'm saying is if the egg breaks then I have one less egg to work with and k minus 1 floors left if I'm dropping from the kth floor and if the egg doesn't break then I have the same number of eggs and j minus k floors left where k goes from 1 to j if you want the full solution for this problem go to my github link github.com mission piece interview wiki and if you want to check out similar questions go to my youtube channel youtube.com user to 2525 thanks for watching this video